Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ino. So in today's video, is, it's going to be an extension uh, or a continuation of uh, my last video, which was on uh, classes in Python. So in today's video, I'm just going to talk briefly about uh, class inheritance in Python. So inheritance in Python uh, allows us to characterize objects that may have some shared characteristics or properties in addition to having um, some differences. So the shared char characteristics can be defined or they can already be defined in like a base class or, or you can think of it as a parent class. And then we might want to extend the, the functionality in a, a subclass or, or a child class that we defined. So when we define a subclass, it's going to inherit all the characteristics within the base class and then we can create new functionalities in the subclass or the, the the child class and also we can override some of the functionalities from the base class i have an example here of um, a vehicle class so this is our super class here our parent class and it's correct uh, defined with the um, two attributes i have color attribute and then i have a default attribute owner and then i have a uh, two subclasses. I have a truck class and then a, a car class. So the syntax for creating your, your base class is just the generic syntax here, just the keyword class and then the name of the uh, your class and then the column. And then you have to find the Danda init method for uh, instantiating your object. And then you have to actually create the attributes here. Whereby here we have self the color, which points to this value or the parameter that's going to be passed is the one that's uh, assigned here. So we have color attribute and owner. Owner is default, so it doesn't have to be passed. I've put a default value of Eno. So in the subclass, I have the track and the syntax for creating a subclass is the keyword class, and then the name of your class, and then inside the parentheses, you want to put the name of your parent class or your super class. Same thing here, I have car. And now to show you that it's inheriting these attributes here, I created a new object, a new instance for the car class here called BMW. And then I've passed in gray for the color. As far as the owner, you don't really need to pass that in since it's default, but you, you can actually see what it's inheriting. So if I run this, it's showing me the owner is inner and then the color is gray. So as you can see here, we didn't define any data in, it, in any of these two uh, subclasses as they are, they're doing uh, inheritance, they, they, they're just sharing what was already in the base class. Now we'll, we'll take the same, the same concept to uh, the class we used in, our, in my previous video, which is the, the student class and uh, so a student, a student is a is a person. So you can have a super class called person. So here I've defined a class person, which I've given the attribute full name. The class student is inheriting the person class. And here you can see if I print, uh, actually even I need to create an object, a student object, student two, and be a student. And you have to pass the attributes that's being inherited here, full name. I'll say Eno. Now you can print student2 uh, full name. And that's going to show us Eno. Now, if you had, you are looking to extend uh, this class or to or define your own attributes you have to follow there's a special syntax you have to follow in order to fulfill the attributes that you're inheriting from the base class so we'll go ahead and uh, define our uh, dunder init method here init do self and you actually have to define the same attributes that are found in the base class you have your full name and let's say here you just you're looking to define an additional attribute of your own let's say a major in order for you to define this full name that's uh, inherited from the base class there's a special syntax you'll need to use so you have to refer to the this init from the super class using the syntax so it's going to be super open and close 
parentheses and then you have to do init and then you have to pass all the parameters that are coming from the the base class so we only have full name we'll pass full name now once that's you're done with that now you can define your your own specific uh, attributes here we only have major now you can use self major and then just point to the attribute major that's going to be passed now once you're done with the definition of the data init method when you create your instance or your, your object for the student class you'll have to add the new parameter here so we have major so you have to add that one it now we can go ahead and print student to a major and as you can see it's printing the full name and then also the major same approach you can inherit a, a method from your base class so we'll go ahead and define a method here within our base class and this method say it's going to return the full name so we'll call it get full name now we'll give it self for the current object and then we'll just return self full name we'll go ahead and, and try and use that method so we'll say get full name and it's getting yeah, it's giving us uh, the name here you know all right so um like i said earlier you can override some of the um attributes that are coming from your base class or that are defined in your base class so in order to demonstrate that i'm gonna add um an attribute here so i'll add a um, default attribute let's call it age so we'll say self age and then we'll give it an empty empty string there and then when we go to let's just run that make sure we don't have any errors and then i'm going to override that attribute here so the difference is that this age attribute does not have to be included in this uh, syntax here you don't have to add in in, in this um, parenthesis you can just refer to it here and say self dot age and you don't have to add it here either so i can just override that empty string and say uh, let's say 19 and then we'll try and print it out and as you can see we are getting 19 even though we didn't, like I said, we didn't have to add it here. We didn't have to add it here. And let's say if you were not overriding this, uh, just to show you that we're actually inheriting this age attribute. Let's say, for instance, I'm not overriding it. I can go ahead and print it, even though I've not, you know, done anything with age here. And that should come out as an em empty string here. And as you can see, it's not nothing was printed. Actually, you can just say the age value is so the age value is actually empty because this is empty based on this value here. It's inheriting the age attribute from the base class. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to do a brief uh, overview of uh, inheritance in classes. Uh, which can be a useful tool if you're looking to reuse code that's already defined in a, in a given class. So I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.